This video is a continuation of our series on connective tissues and this video will be covering compact bone. But first, let's remember what all connective tissues have in common. All connective tissues originate from mesenchyme and so they have mesenchymal stem cells. All connective tissues have two major components. The first of those are the cells and the second of those is our extracellular matrix. Our extracellular matrix has two components itself. Ground substance is the fluid component of extracellular matrix. And then we have our extracellular fibers. And we have three different types of extracellular fibers. Collagen is going to provide strength in one direction. Elastic fibers provide stretch and recoil. And then reticular fibers are going to create a branching network that provides strength in many directions. These are all of our unifying characteristics of connective tissues. In this video, we are going to be looking at compact bone here. So let's take a look at compact bone. Bone really looks like no other tissue. It's really fabulous. It's a gorgeous tissue as you can see here. What we're looking at is a cluster of osteons. An osteon is the functional unit of compact bone. So I'm going to draw you an osteon and then we will identify all of the parts and then we'll point out those parts on our picture. Here we have an osteon. So the entire circular structure is called an osteon and sometimes an osteon is called a Haversian system. It's named after Mr. Havers. Right in the middle of our osteon, so I'm going to change it to red, we have something called a central canal. Sometimes a central canal gets called a Haversian canal. I picked the color red because our central canal is going to house our blood vessels in our osteon. Next, we have these black dots that are surrounding our central canal in concentric circles. These black dots, which I have now changed to green, are called lacunae. Does that sound familiar? You guys should recognize lacunae as the spaces within cartilage that house our chondrocytes. Well, hyaline cartilage is the precursor to compact bone and spongy bone in our skeleton. So when that hyaline cartilage becomes bone, the lacunae are not going to house chondrocytes, they house osteocytes. Sorry, I ran out of room there, but our lacunae house osteocytes. So these black lines that I am coloring over with green, the structure is the lacuna and the cell inside of that structure is our osteocyte. So we have concentric layers of osteocytes around our central canal. These layers also get their own name. Each layer is a concentric lamella. A lamella means layer. Concentric means that we are going around in a circle around our central canal. And finally, I'm going to draw these really light. We have these lines that radiate outwards from our central canal. So they kind of make our central canal look like a sunburst because they go out from the central canal. All of those tiny little lines are called canaliculi. That's plural. If it were singular, then instead of canaliculi, we would have canaliculus, and it would be L-U-S. A canaliculi is a tiny canal. 
That's what the word means. And this tiny canal is going to connect our osteocytes with the central canal so that our osteocytes can receive nutrients and dissolve gases and get rid of their wastes in exchange with the blood vessels housed in the central canal. Because our matrix of our compact bone is going to be hard. It's a solid. And diffusion doesn't happen very well through solids. So instead of trying to get our nutrients and dissolved gases through a solid, we are going to have these tiny canals to connect our osteocytes with our blood vessels located in these central canals. So now let's point out all of these structures on our picture. Here we have our central canal. That didn't show up very well. I'll try to use a brighter color. Located around our central canal, we have our lacunae that house our osteocytes. You can see that our lacunae are formed into concentric lamellae surrounding our central canal. So here we've got a uh, concentric lamella. And then you can see all of the little stripes that go outwards from our central canal being our canaliculi. So bone really looks like nothing else because all you're seeing is all of these osteons in your view. So you're looking at a solid matrix and then we can't even see our cells because they're housed inside of our lacuna and those are just spaces inside of the bone. So now that we have a general idea of what we're looking at, let's talk about some of our specifics. We've already talked about our specialized cell type, the type of cell that we will see in our compact bone here is going to be an osteocyte. There are different kinds of cell types in bone, but really the only one we're going to see in this kind of view is our osteocyte. Our specialized fiber type is going to be collagen, and this collagen is embedded in that hard matrix that makes up our concentric lamellae and it's going to provide some flexibility to our bones. For locations of compact bone, I want you to name any bone in the body. So basically, I'm asking for an example. You can say the humerus, the radius, ulna, femur, the list goes on. Just pick your favorite bone and that is our location. For functions, bone has several different functions that you may not readily think about. Our most obvious function is for support and protection of the body. But our bones don't only support and protect our body. They are also involved in movement. Our muscles have to have something to pull on in order to get us to move. Our bones provide a reservoir for calcium and phosphorus. And finally, there is hemopoietic tissue inside of our bone. That's red bone marrow. And our red bone marrow is going to make blood. So we have many different functions for our bones. So here is a nice summary slide where I point out our central canal and our osteons. And I want to point out a couple of questions that I may ask. I may ask you, what is this whole structure? So if you were to name this entire structure or this whole structure, the answer would be an osteon. I could ask you to name this structure, which would be a central canal. I could ask you to name this structure. The structure is a lacuna.
If I asked you to name the specialized cell type, the answer would be an osteocyte. So those are some examples of the types of questions you might see on a lab practical. And finally, when I ask you to name the entire structure, I generally zoom in so that all you can see is an osteon. So this whole structure is an osteon. Bone is generally not confused with any other tissues, so we have covered all the information that you need to know. If you have any questions, never hesitate to contact your instructor.